Republicans, come along now. It's time to go to slaughter. It's time to go to slaughter. Come on, Republican. Come on, Republican. Come on. There, 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 there. Hi, Republicans, it's time to go to slaughter. Hi, Republicans, you're gonna get slaughtered. Ah, we are leading the Republicans to slaughter in 2008. The Republicans are right, going to get slaughtered, hello? The Republicans are going to get slaughtered in 2008. And like, from then on. All people say, Perry, what should we do about impeachment? I mean, where do we start? With the worst administration to have disgraced the name of the United States. The worst administration, don't you think? Oh, sure. The worst administration by far was a right wing administration. Now, wait a minute, Perry. Do I understand you correctly to say that the worst administration in United States history was also the most right-wing? Why, yes. Yes. The Bush gang has broken records all over the place for doing things the right wing way. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, President Bush. Thank you uh, uh, for converting the country, right? You converted the country, baby. Now we know right wing policies are caca. Right wing policies are fudge. Right wing policies are hoo ha. Right wing policies are gods. <laughs> Right-wing policies are hoo-ha! Right-wing policies are fudge! Right-wing policies are ka 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 Repeat after me! Right-wing policies are ka ka ha! Right-wing policies are ka ka ha! Right-wing policies are ka ka ha! Ka 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 ha! Well, thank you, Republicans, for showing us what you could do. <laughs> hey, uh, thank you, Republicans, for letting 9-11 happen through sheer slow reflexes. Wow, that was incredible. Don't you remember how the president just didn't know what to do? You know, on 9-11, <laughs> did you know? that you can see the soiled trousers that George W. Bush was wearing on 9-11? Yeah, hey kids, at the George W. Bush Presidential Museum. At the George W. Bush Presidential Museum, we have the very soiled trousers the guy was wearing when he let 9-11 happen. Well, when he didn't know what to do, and as you may recall on that terrible day, uh, when the Republicans, don't you know, haven't you noticed, it was the most proudly conservative administration in U.S. history. Well, that's what they said. Don't you remember when they were selling George W. Bush? He was the most conservative guy in the universe. I'm sure the Republicans regret saying that. <laughs> well, uh, they forgot, and now they say he's not conservative. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Conservative. Haven't you noticed this always happens? That uh, the, the right, the conservatives, uh, these are the people we're talking about. This is the problem. <laughs> this is the thorn in our side. Uh, this is the bee in our bonnet. What I'm saying is that back in 2000, they were talking in a completely different way. 
Back in 2000, George W. Bush was the epitome of conservatism. Hey, <laughs> this is is this mind blowing? Uh, George W. Bush was, according to the conservatives, the epitome of conservatism in 2000. Don't you remember? Uh, they questioned the loyalty. They questioned. The patriotism. They questioned the patriotism of anybody who didn't stand behind George, George w. w. Bush, the staunch conservative. George W. Bush, the staunch conservative. Back in 2000, it was a George W. Bush, the staunch conservative. George W. Bush, the staunch conservative. Well, of course, what he really was, what he went on to become, was easily the worst president ever. Yeah! Oh, no, easily. He has more records than anybody. He has firsts and records. He's the first criminal they ever put in the White House. This is the Republicans. I can't get over that this was the political rights audition. <laughs> And they put George W. Bush up there as their best guy. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. That was your best guy. That was the guy who was going to represent all conservatism. And anybody who questioned it, so said the right. Uh, well, they were probably not good Americans, right? OK, so when this inept bozo, the first criminal in the White House, the first cokehead yeah! in the White House, yeah, smart, yeah! The, the first bisexual, that, oh, come on, he's the first bisexual. Now, all I have to do is stop right there. Stop right there. We have a president, I'm not kidding, a president and a vice president, both with criminal records. Yeah! Bush and Cheney both have criminal records. Now, can you imagine if this were a Democratic administration? <laughs> uh, excuse me, it never could have happened. It never would have happened. The right would have been sounding off constantly about how the Democrats are putting a criminal. Yeah! Oh no! Oh no, look here! The Democrats have put a, a convicted criminal in the White House. The, the Democrats have put the first cokehead in the White House. Can you believe it? Oh no, look at here, look at here. The Democrats have put the first... Uh, uh, look here, the Democrats have put the first National Guard deserter in the White House. Uh, the Democrats, they're destroying America, don't you see? Uh, don't you see that Democrats are destroying America? Yeah! The time has come to impeach. The, the Democrats had the nerve. Come here, come here. The Democrats had the nerve. The Democrats had the chutzpah <laughs> to put a criminal not only as president, as, but also as vice president. Check it out. The Democrats have put the first National Guard deserter in the White House. Wow, what a stink the right would make, right? <laughs> I don't think a Democratic president could have gotten away with any of George Bush's world record-breaking screw-ups, right? World record-breaking screw-ups. The whole presidency was a world record-breaking screw-up. Now, I would call your attention to the fact that this was the right wing's idea of the perfect conservative. Yeah! Don't you remember what they said? 